I always knew Gargamel went to hell with his cat when he tried to eat a Smurf. Anyways, that freaking Smurfs reference completely caught me off guard. Not a lot of people probably actually realize what the cats were talking about, but I was absolutely shocked because Smurfs is from my childhood. And I was like, oh my god, a Smurfs freaking reference! I was just so excited because that is something you don't see at all. At all in an anime, let alone an English cartoon. So, props. Hoseki no right tattoo. Fucking props. You got me once again with your references, culture gags, and your morbid comedy. So, anyways, th this episode had a lot more lulls than previous episodes. I was almost off my rockers this entire episode with Koban. The first half was just absolutely just marvelous. Okay, so the one scene that was just so freaking hilarious was with Koban... Maki and Hozuki, the one of my favorite scenes in this episode, probably my favorite. It just you get to see Koban just completely break down. He's like, Maki, tell him you love him, ask for his phone number, all that kind of crap. And then you're supposed to use your feminine vibes to uh, able to seduce Hozuki. And when Hozuki's like, oh, and you see his hand around the freaking like wall, and you see it just crunch in. He's like, so that's how you really feel, huh? Your personality comes out, and he breaks the fucking wall. He comes over there, grabs the cat, and he, he completely just deduces the entire situation, breaks it down, and just completely. Crunches craps on the entire atmosphere. Hozuki, man, you're a fucking boss. I love it. I love his character so much. The way he acts in his extreme artistic taste, that's weird. Okay, so he likes some weird, bizarre, stone, wood, goldfish, plant thing with three heads. Bizarre art taste. I don't know if I'd like something like that, but I will say we found a lot, a lot about Hozuki this episode. He really enjoys his art. Now, one thing I enjoy with Koban, and since I'm still on the subject with him, is when he saw Hozuki with Maki, he just see him like react with blood just everywhere. He's like, <laughs> and then blood goes everywhere. That morbidness, that it's just so morbid. But I love it. I love it so much. That freaking just dark humor always gets me in these type of series. I feel like they did a lot of cultural references and put downs in this episode the art the entire second half of the art literally just crapped on anyone that loves artistic style because of what Hozuki did he just erases an entire important painting that has a lot of historical value just to put something new about a freaking hole in the wall that eats someone's hand off what Freaking genius, though. I mean, seriously, that uh, Hell's Attraction. We got a new Hell's Attraction. Emma, of course, puts his freaking hand in it. And guess what? Ah! Just, yeah. I love that. It's so freaking great. And, Husky, you're a boss. Once again, a fucking boss. Now, I was completely shocked with the Maki, I guess, idol video song. That was a very catchy song. We only got a short little clip right at the beginning of the episode. I was like, holy crap, this is awesome. Getting to see her, like, dance with... Candy, sugar, cookies, cupcakes, and all sorts of stuff I really wish I could eat at this exact second. But I was like, holy crap, this is like a completely change of personality. And then we get to see another cultural, I guess, gag. When we see her get out of it, he's like, oh, I can't believe I had to do that. And like, she was so depressed that she was, like, was feeling bad for like, the way she had to act and her song. I thought it was hilarious because maybe a lot of voice actresses and stuff like this actually do that when they get off the set from their cover song. So I felt like this was a very interesting insight to different culture avenues of different cultures, not just Japanese culture, to voice actors, artists, and just, you know, like, American, like, culture with cartoons. I felt like this episode covered a lot of stuff, and they continue to put down so many different gags of different cultures in anime and actual real life that it manages to shock me. I love it. I love this series so much. I, I think this anime gets an instant win for me just from bringing up the Smurfs alone or Gargamel. Mentioning Gargamel's name, of all things, was the most shocking thing I have seen in an anime in such a long time. Now, honestly, this episode was enjoyable. We, we saw some character development with Hozuki, like the art thing. We get to see the two actual minions to Hozuki has some form of development. We find out one is a very amazing artist, and Hozuki employs him to actually draw the arts on the wall, so I felt that was a very nice scene. And then we find out the frog shirt. That frog shirt was freaking hilarious. Like, rip it. <laughs> it starts jumping. Honestly, this episode was an actually good episode. I loved it so much. And this is actually is my favorite episode of this series so far. I really loved last episode. I mean, I absolutely just enjoyed it. And I love the episode before that. The episodes are getting so much better and better as the series goes on. 
But uh, it's going to be hard to top this one, in my honest opinion, because I was just so shocked with the comedy they managed to put in this. It wasn't a comedy that's just so random that it makes you, like, do, like, okay, why am I laughing? Like, it's so weird you laugh. But this comedy was just so funny because it would make fun of things that I think that's why I enjoyed it so much. But I did love the actual ending cover song of Maki when we get to see the entire song for the ending song, which was awesome. So anyways, this is going to be the end of my anime review of Hoseki no Tetsu this week. Tell me your feelings on this episode and tell me your feelings on this anime. And do you feel like this series is getting better and better with each passing episode? I, I really have noticed that the animators and probably the staff that is currently doing this series is probably having a lot of fun with it because you can tell anyone that puts this amount of level of comedy in it along with the artistic style, you can tell they're putting a lot of fills into this series and I can definitely feel that. So, everybody, have a wonderful day or not, wherever you live. Please stay safe. Chibi out.